have a special guest. Our special guest with us. Yay, Rita! <laughs> Welcome, Rita. We're excited to have you with us. Thank you. Nice to be here. I'm a fan of yours. Oh, oh thank you. Yeah, she she had written on one of my Instagrams. I think it was Instagram. Uh, you, she had written that. We had inspired her a little bit. You did. I had my sewing machine fixed. I had not used it for at least 20 years. Oh, my God. Wow. And uh, so got, uh, there was a thread stuck in there, probably 100 yards. Like, <laughs> and I've been oh. trying to dig it out. Oh. And I took it to a place, and they fixed it all up. And now I have a beautiful sewing machine. Yay. Good. Yay. We're so glad. Yes. yes. And, you know, we start every time with an inspirational saying. Oh. So this one is believe in yourself. You are braver than you think more talented than you know, and capable of more than you can imagine. Well, that's so, quite lengthy. It is quite lengthy. <laughs> it's good. It's but a good one. Don't you think that's a great saying? I do. That's a great saying. It's a great it is saying. a great saying. So it's by Roy T. Bennett. Who Does anybody he? know who he is? No, you always look him up. You always I, look I'm going to have Siri tell me. <laughs> Siri's good at this. Hey, Siri. Who was Roy T. Bennett? Here's an answer from wikipedia.org. Roy C. Bennett, Brooklyn, Nova High, 12 de Agosto de 1918, acute and compositor Americano, que fez modus de suas... Well, it's in a different language. language. <laughs> okay, so for all of you that can understand that language. <laughs> it sounds like he was a poet. Yeah, like a composer of some kind. Okay. It, it said something about... 1918. Uh, 1980. 80, 80. So oh, 80? He's oh. probably still alive. It said, it said something about him being um, some... There he oh, is. there he is. He's author of The Light in the Heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He shares positive thoughts and creative insight that has helped countless people to live a successful and fulfilling life. There you go. There you, there go. you go. No wonder he has such a good saying. Yeah. That was, that's what he does. And that is true. <laughs> you know, that's all about self-confidence. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Keep that self-esteem up and self-confidence and move forward. Yeah. You are capable. You may not think it, but you're braver than you think you are. You're okay. capable. Yeah, okay. Oh, All right, I'm enough. Not... Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> so what are we going to discuss today? Today we're going to talk about fabric that's not found in a fabric store. How's that? It's like repurposing. <laughs> repurposing. Oh, repurposing. Upcycling. 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 Also. That's yes. why we have Rita with us yes. today. <laughs> she can She's, find the clothes. I'm not an expert. I'm just stop dabbling in it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Rita, you want to show us what you dabbled in? Sure. Let's yeah, go. Okay. My first okay. creation. This used to be a t-shirt that my son-in-law wore. He lost 140 pounds. Wow. So I decided wow, uh, maybe I can make a skirt dress out of it. Yeah. Oh, oh look at that. Isn't it cute? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. look at the detail she put in. So the detail came from I had this uh, old shirt and I cut strips of it and used it yeah. just to add a little edging. Nice. That's pretty. Too. Did you so, put the buttons in there? No, they were there. They were there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I and think so, that's it. It's a perfect length. Yeah. With leggings. Yes. Comfy. Yes. See another one? Yeah, yes. sure. Oh, she's so, on a roll. <laughs> went to a used uh, clothing store and I bought a pair of very large linen pants. Oh, uh -huh. and took them apart and made a wrap around skirt out of that. Oh, it's so cute. And my I proudest moment of no. this was I had to make a buttonhole. Uh huh. And I had not made buttonholes, I would say, 40 years. Wow. And I was able to make a few. So I made an extra one just for show. <laughs> this is uh, my buttonholes right here. Yep. Isn't it pretty? pretty? I love that. That is adorable. Yeah. And, and do you know how much linen pants cost? Because I went on Amazon and priced them all in skirts. Linen so, is very expensive. Yes, yes, it is. And if you go to a regular storage, you get all these uh, polyester mixes. And mm -hmm. they're very uncomfortable because they're not natural fibers. So but that's so, a great, great idea is you could, to buy the, the pants and you buy them, 
you find the largest size you can find so you have more fabric to work with to make the item that you want to make. Yeah, hopefully you can get the pattern too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can. Cute, so cute, cute. I just kind of wanted to see what it looked like. It's just basically straight skirt. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's open on the side. It's really adorable. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah, very cute. And she's got some cute wooden button on her. Yeah, That's I cute. have probably 500 buttons at home. Wow. They're in jars. Oh, yeah. That's yes. where my buttons should be, most of them. Some of them are, but not all of them. <laughs> That's very nice, Rita. Thank you. Thank yes. you for sharing with us. And see how talented and just, you just got to expand. Think sim yeah, think and simple. Your, yeah, yeah. Yep. Simple, keep it simple. Yeah, and this was not it. simple what I <laughs> <laughs> No, it wasn't. No, it's a Vogue pattern, though. It's Vogue 1550. Oh, before you get started on that, I do think we need to let everybody know that Rita didn't use a pattern. She just had the past experience was like 20 years ago of her sewing and she said, I'm going to do this. And she did it. She figured it out. So, so you can, you can do it. Hey, uh, if you don't mind, yeah, go no. ahead. this came, this idea came from, oh, I had to be like 20 years old. I used to make a t-shirt skirt oh. and a matching um, t-shirt. Oh, and you use an old t-shirt and just put it on top of the fabric and eyeball it. And I made several outfits when I was oh, young. Ah. In fact, my, when I first came to the United States in 1981, I had several of those outfits in my suitcase. And where I stayed, they were so unusual. They told me to go to the store across the street and call JC Penny and buy something more suitable for Americans. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That's hilarious. Yeah, that the decades fun. later, they said, I'm so sorry. We didn't realize. Yeah. <laughs> that is a good story. Yeah, yeah we yeah. laugh about that. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Dory. Okay, so. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so mine is Vogue 1550. Mm, let me set this down. Yeah. And I'm going to show you the pattern. So I decided to make the one that had the shorter pants and the shorter tunic. Oops, it's this one. Shorter pants and shorter tunic. So um, this is what the results. And this is from a uh, bed sheet. So yes. I, I liked the, the fact that it was like a tie-dye. Oh, and tie-dye is very much in style right now. Yeah, it's, it's the, the thing right now. So I made this, and there are some things that I didn't, didn't do that the pattern had, and I didn't realize I wasn't doing it when I was doing it. Does that oh. make sense? <laughs> You so realize you were missing some so stuff. this this has um a contrast here in the center here and down on the leg. I don't know if you can see the contrast right there. Yeah. So uh, those are cut on the bias, and um, I was going to. So I I followed the the pattern and I cut all these on the bias and I put everything together and I'm like, well, why do I have all these left over? <laughs> yeah, you you told me I have I have these left over. It only called for two and I've got this many left. Yeah, and it's because they're supposed to be um, like one was an interfacing for it. Oh. oh. <laughs> so the interfacing is not in that part on the on the contrast. But uh, I really I, I really it. like them. Oh, and lace. Yeah, I used the a lace oh, hemming lace. Hemming lace. Uh, hemming lace, yes. And that is the first time I've ever used hemming lace. And you know, they still sell it. I seen it in the yeah. store. I didn't realize that. Yeah. And my zipper, my zipper is in are the you back. Have a zipper? Yeah. Oh, you do. Turn so around. The, these oh, are the pants. Around. Don't turn around. <laughs> okay, now turn around. Okay. So they do have darts in the front and darts in the back. And my zipper, I did really good except for the very end. Yeah. But that's okay because I'm going to go around But uh, I, am, I am trying to get better at zippers. That's. It's beautiful. Thank you. It's very nice I have to tell you so, something funny. So on the yes. way on the way here, um, I had to run into a store real quick. On the way and, here, which is my house. Yes, it's my sister's house. Um, the G's. <laughs> so I had to run in real quick to this this um, to drop off something, and I went in the wrong door, and it was a beauty salon. And this lady says, "Oh, I love your outfit." Yay! And I, like, I wanted to say it's a bed sheet, <laughs> but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, and that's we, cotton, right? The material yeah. feels mm -hmm. like cotton. Yeah, it yeah. feels like cotton. It doesn't feel like it's a blend, does yeah. it? Yeah, well, but it doesn't it wrinkle a lot, so it might have a little. Yeah, something I was going to say it may have um, something in it. And when I was making it, actually, um, when you, I what? No, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. So when I made it and laid it out, 
Um, this takes a ton of fabric, this tunic. Yeah. And I had enough for the tunic and one pant leg. Ah. But it came with two king size pillowcases. <laughs> so I made the other pant leg out of a pillowcase. So this one is out of the sheet and this one is out of the pillowcase. <laughs> and there we have it. Yeah. You can't see here. I have to put in a picture of uh, what, what it looks like with the whole thing. I do it. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Nate noticed me. Hi, Nate. Hi, Nate. <laughs> Did you like Aunt Dory's outfit? Yeah. Well, um, that's my invention. made out of a shower curtain and and Dory will insert the clip of the shower curtain before I had uh, made this up the shower curtain though when I got to laying it, the pattern out was not squared so I had a little bit of difficulty getting that the fabric laid out the pattern laid out on the fabric correctly it was so I, what I did was I matched up the designs and hoping those were square on it that's what I did to try to get it. Mm, it looks but, beautiful. Well, thank you. And oh, no. this is made out of Butterick 6176. Super, super easy pattern. I will say, though, when I bought it, I was like, there's no long version in here. And even on the back, there's no long version. I got the pattern out, and there was a long version. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, I thought maybe I you just happy. lengthened it. No. no, no, it came out long. So this is, oops, oh, I'm stepping, there we go. I stepped hand into that for mama, okay? So this is what it looks like. Um, it's nice and flowy. It would be a nice beach cover-up. Oh, yeah. Um, and I, with the palm trees, eh? And yeah. I think I will have to do like Doris. I will you, um, take a, do a tape of it with it. The full you, length so that you can see it but i've got it with jeans and i thought a nice white you, top with it um but i'm rather as you know i'm rather modest so i don't have very many tank tops at all so besides i have like flappy arms <laughs> <laughs> true confessions, true confessions at the sewing yeah. <laughs> yeah. so it was super super easy to make um and it turned out well. And it was a shower curtain I got at the thrift store for four dollars, and I think I ended up eighty cents. Or yeah, like eighty-four cents, something like that. For yep. It. So I paid like three ninety-nine or two ninety-nine for for my sheet and two pillowcases. <laughs> <laughs> so so anyway. It's gonna rain on our parade. <laughs> uh oh, let's let's wrap this let's up. Wrap this up. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, thank you, Rita, for coming yes, and sharing us so with, sharing that with us. Um, again, our saying was believe in yourself because you are braver than you think, more talented than you know, and more capable than you can even imagine. So, um, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, please hit the like button, thumbs and up, subscribe, and uh, until next time. We'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye. Say bye, Nate. Bye.